tweeting is also known as microblogging. This means you send out short posts daily or multiple times a day. It can be what you've seen or heard or something you find interesting. What you decide to do with your 140 character limit is up to you. For more definitions of terminology you'll find around Twitter, check out our Twitter terminology tutorial. I'm Allison from TechBoomers.com, and I'll show you many ways you can tweet on Twitter. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to tweet, how to tweet photos, how to add at mentions and hashtags, how to tweet links, and how to tweet what you find on the web. First, I'll show you how to tweet. Sending out a tweet is easy. There are multiple shortcuts all over Twitter where you're able to compose a new tweet. On your Twitter timeline, you can click and type in the bar that says what's happening to write a tweet. You can also click the compose button, which says tweet anywhere you see it on Twitter. When you click in the box, it will expand, giving you some more room to type. Click in the white space and type in whatever's on your mind. In the bottom right, to the left of the tweet button, is a character count. It always starts at 140 characters and counts down, so you'll always know when you're running out of space for a tweet. Once you're done writing, click Tweet to send it out to the Twitterverse. Now, all your followers will see what you've just posted. Next, we'll look at how to tweet photos. You can make your tweets more colorful by adding a photo. Click the Add Photo button which looks like a camera. In the window that pops up, navigate through your computer's files and select the photo that you want. Click to select it and then click open. Note, even though a photo doesn't take up any words, it does take up space, so your character count will still go down. If you want to tag someone in a photo, select who's in this photo to tag up to 10 friends. Tagging someone means that they're either in the picture or somehow related to it. Their name is attached to the photo and they'll be notified if they've been tagged. Click in the search bar and then type a friend's name or Twitter handle. Then, click on them when they appear to select them. Once you're done, click Tweet to post your message. Now you know how to post photos on Twitter. Adding mentions and hashtags is another way to connect with others on Twitter. Unsure of what we're talking about? Check out our Twitter terminology tutorial for more information. To mention someone in a tweet, type the at symbol followed by their username. For example, at Neil Young. When you're mentioning someone in a tweet, it means they were involved in what you were tweeting or you want them to be notified of your tweet. Twitter considers it to be conversational and your tweet will only show up in your feed, the mentioned person's feed, and the feeds of followers you both have in common. When you add a period before, for example, dot at Neil Young, your tweet will show up in all your followers' feeds. Next, we'll add some hashtags. Using a hashtag highlights keywords or topics in your tweet and makes it easy to search for. This means if you tweet hashtag Music Monday, it will be part of the results for anyone who searches Music Monday in the search box. You can hashtag anything from a word to an event or a phrase. Just be sure not to use spaces for anything you intend to hashtag. Click Tweet when you're done adding hashtags. You'll notice that hashtags show up as different colors, almost like a link. If you click on a hashtag, you'll go to a timeline of tweets about that topic. Be sure to use mentions and hashtags to keep connected to the Twitter community. But what if you find an interesting article online? I'll show you how to tweet links to all your followers. So you found a link to a web page you find interesting. However, as you may know, many links are long and don't leave any room for you to say much else. I'm gonna left click to select the text, then right click copy. You can right click paste to paste it into a tweet. As you'll notice, this link takes away a lot of characters before you've even had the chance to say something. One way to get around this is to shorten the link using an alternative site. Bailey is a good example of a service that can shorten links. Click here to open a new tab. Type bit.ly.com in your web browser, then press enter. Copy the link you want to use for Twitter, then paste it here to shorten it. Then click shorten. Click either copy button to quickly copy your link. 
Take the link and paste it into your tweet. Type what you want to say and then press tweet to share. Now you know how to share links on Twitter and how to shorten them. Maybe you've seen the Twitter icon somewhere else online. I'll show you how to easily tweet from the web. Being able to share is what social media is all about. Websites recognize this and they love it when you promote their content. So many websites, including techboomers.com, are linked to Twitter. It also takes all the guesswork out of shortening a link and trying to find something to say. The site will usually do it all for you with the click of a button. Let's use Tech Boomers as an example. At the top of the page is the option to share on social media, including Twitter. To tweet this page directly, click the Twitter button. A new window will pop up with your tweet all ready to go. However, if you're not logged in, Twitter may ask you to do so. You can also click in the composition box and type in anything else you want to say. Click tweet when you're done. Let's see what this tweet looks like on my Twitter timeline. Now you know some of the different ways you can tweet, as well as the different types of content you can share. Go ahead and try tweeting today. Want to learn more about Twitter? Click here. Want to check out tutorials and other great sites? Click here. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest video tutorials. And as always, comment below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns.